since we are covering uh, API development in this course, uh, I also wanted to cover something called open API specification. So uh, what exactly is an open API? Um, so open API is a standard or a specification uh, that defines a language agnostic interface for RESTful APIs, which allows both humans and computers to discover and understand the capabilities of the service without access to source code, documentation, or through network traffic inspection. I just read that from here. Uh, so this is the official, I guess, documentation for open API specification. Um, this is the Wikipedia page right here. Let's see what this one says. Open API specification, previously known as Swagger specification, is a specification for machine readable interface files for describing, producing, consuming, and visualizing RESTful web services. So in a nutshell, it's just a specification, okay? Like how your API should be built, what the schema should be, how many, what kind of objects it should have, what kind of data type it should have. So just a specification. Um, a lot of times when you're talking about open API specification, we are also talking about something called Swagger, okay? And there's a lot of confusion out there on the internet in regards to what Swagger is and what open API is. I just wanna make that clear once and for all. Uh, open API is actually a specification that we just covered uh, and Swagger is actually a tool for implementing that specification. Okay. Again, open API is just specification and Swagger is a tool for implementing that specification. Uh, Swagger is the name associated with some of the most well-known and widely used tools for implementing the open API specification. Okay. The Swagger tool set includes a mix of open source, free and commercial tools which can be used at different stages of the API lifecycle. So Swagger is developed by uh, this company called SmartBear, uh, which kind of follows the specifications of open API. Um, and that's why some, sometimes people get confused what Swagger is and what open API is, and they kind of use those terms interchangeably, but they're actually two different things, okay? They have the same purpose, open API is a specification, but Swagger is a tool, okay? Um, so how does that benefit us in our in our key use case? So let me go back to the code here. Uh, this guy right here. And as you can see, uh, our fast API was running on this server here, um, HTTP this URL. Let's go back there and let's check it out. So this was our this was our response from the API and what, we, what we're going to do is now we're going to look into the open API uh, specification or the documentation. So for that, let's just do open API dot JSON. And there we have it kind of ugly looking JSON uh, format. Uh, but this is um, just the documentation. It's, it's kind of like a metadata of the API. Uh, so as you can see, there we have the version number of this open API. Uh, we have the title here, fast API. We have the path here is an empty URL string. Um, the response, uh, sorry, the request type is actually get, right? Um, and yeah, so all this information, as you can see, is also successful here with HTTP status code of 200, successful response. So that's, yeah, um, pretty much the open API JSON, right? But it doesn't look that pretty. So what I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna show you one more thing here. We're just gonna connect it to this. So instead of open API.json, let's replace that with docs here. And there you have it, a beautiful looking documentation of open API specification or the metadata of your API. And this is looks pretty good, right? Um, and as you can see here, this is a request get type. And we have this root here. What is that root? So that root here is actually coming from this guy here. So the name of our function was root, right? So that's this guy here, root. And if you expand this guy here, um, you can see a bunch of things here, parameters, right? It's not, our API is not taking any parameters. It's actually just empty. Um, successful response. The, the HTTP success code is actually 200 here, so that's pretty good. Um, that's what we are able to see our a dictionary over there, hello algomatica. Um, that means it's successful, so successful response. Media type is application JSON. Um, and this guy here is string. So that means even though we are seeing, um, even though we are seeing this message here on the on the web page, message algomatica, and it's like a key and value pair, 
but it's rendered as a string uh, when it's um, passed to the JSON. Okay, that's why we have this guy here as string. Um, there's one more thing you can do here. You can try it out. So you can play around with this thing. So let's press execute, and there you have it. So if you were using uh, something called curl, which is a client URL uh, uh, software or tool, uh, this is how your request would look like. You have a get request type, and this is the URL you're requesting, and the header is accept application JSON. This will be the request URL again, and this will be the response, okay? Success, which is 200. HTTP status code of 200 is success. Uh, message is this guy, as we saw on the URL, and content land of 33, um application json this is the date today server is unicorn so yeah you can always play around with this um swagger ui um open api specification um by going to the your api url and just add docs to the path and then you will you will get this okay that's pretty much it i wanted to cover this so that uh, you guys can understand the difference between Swagger UI, which is this beautiful thing right here, and the open API specification because there's a lot of confusion out there.